Hello, welcome all. Welcome in another important video. I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we will see how to set up our environment to get started with serverless. So first of all, before we start, let me quickly explain you what we are trying to accomplish. So our ultimate goal is to deploy our Lambda function onto our server. So this is our Lambda function and we have this local environment. So this is our local environment, we can say. So we will create our Node.js project locally and we want to deploy this Node.js project onto the AWS Lambda server. Okay, so this is what we are trying to accomplish. So for that purpose, before we actually get started with serverless, we will need some installation. So first thing we need to install is Node.js. So let's see how we can install Node.js. So simply search for Node.js, click on this link, and then you get two versions usually. So the first version on the left hand side you see is the recommended version and the right hand side version is the latest version. So this is more stable version of Node.js. So that's why I'll go ahead and click on download. Okay. And after the download completes, let's click on this installer. Installation is really simple. You just have to click on next, next, next. And you have to accept all the terms and conditions. And if you want any separate path, you can choose it here. But I would recommend you to keep it default and then click on next, click on next. Uh, I don't want to enable this and then install. So it will ask administrator permissions, give it and then the installation will start. It's really simple and while it is being installing, let's go on the new tab and search for serverless. There are a lot of companies using this service already and the best thing is AWS is official technology partner of serverless. So that means we can easily integrate AWS services using serverless. And then if you scroll it a little bit down, you will see the benefits and some information about the serverless. So this is all about serverless package. Well, I'm pretty sure there will be many other packages that is providing same service as serverless, but I found serverless useful and it is really, and its documentation is also well. So we are going to go with, we are going to continue with the serverless in case if you have any other preference do let me know in the comments and we will try to cover that in our upcoming videos. Okay. So I hope you have understood use case of serverless. It is a package or you can say it is a library that we are going to be using to create our Lambda function locally. So you see, this is the Lambda function that we are trying to deploy. But before we deploy, we need to create it locally. And this package will help us creating that creating that project. Okay, so so as you can see, my installation is completed. Go and click on finish. Now I'm going to go ahead and open new CMD prompts with the administrative permissions. All right, so as you can see, my CMD is ready. Now in here, we will need to install. Now, first of all, let's check which version of Node.js is installed. So if I click on, if I search for node hyphen B, you will see I have version 18.18 .18 installed. Okay, now if I search for NPM, you will see NPM is also working. That means our installation is successful. Now let's go ahead and install serverless. So this is a package, like I said, go to the documentation and we will find one command in this get started. Click on setup. So we'll have to install it locally. Let me paste it here. And as you can see, the installation is started in the bottom and let's wait until this finish. All right. So as you can see, our installation is complete and that's pretty much all we need. We just need two dependencies. First is node and another one is serverless package and we have installed both of them. So now we are good to go. So in the next video, we will see how to create Lambda function locally. So stay tuned.